welcome to Jim Snedeker Music. In this video, I want to teach you how you can love to play every guitar note. It builds on the previous video where we just learned the names of the notes on one string. For this video, we're going to learn the names of the notes on the remaining strings also. The open strings, E, A, D, G, B, and E. That's where we're going to start. E, A, D, G, B, and E. Those are the open strings. The open strings, as you can see here, there are no chords. That's why we refer to them as open. They are E, A, D, G, B, and E. Um, two E's share the same note names, but they're two octaves apart. And an octave, all that means is visually we have 12 frets. So the distance from number one down here all the way up here, that's 12 frets, and that's two octaves. These are the open strings. So let's try the E string. This is our top string. It's the thinnest string. What we're going to do is play each note slowly using a pick, or you can use your thumb if you want, um, and say the name of each note as you play it. So this not only helps you remember the note, it also trains your ear. So let's do this together. E is open, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, okay. And that's a little review from our previous video. Now, let's go to the B string, the same steps. So B is our open B, right? C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B. And there's your two octaves, B and B, 12 frets away. So much for the second string. Then the third. Let's take our time and be mindful of each note. G, here's the G note, open. So G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G. G, open G, 12 frets away, G, two octaves. That's good, that's the third string. You're making progress. You're starting to see patterns and your tone's improving. You've reached the midpoint, so take a break. Come on back and we'll keep You're going. Back. That's great. So how important is it to learn how you can love to play every guitar note? Well, you're gonna see online there's lots of opinions about this, but learning to do so now will help you advance more efficiently later in your learning process. Okay, so continuing with the fourth string, it's D. So again, same process, we're gonna play the note, we're gonna say the note, helping our memory. So D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, and there's our 12th fret D, two octaves from the open D. Very good. Okay, now the fifth string, and you're getting this. By going slowly and deliberately, you're learning the names of the notes. Here's our A string. We have A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, and A is 12 frets or two octaves above that A. So moving on to our sixth string, think of this as a bit of a bonus string because you've already played these notes 
a few octaves higher on this E string. So here we go. We have the open E, F, F sharp G, G sharp A, A sharp B, C, C sharp D, D sharp and E. So there it is. You've played all the notes on six strings in the first 12 frets. You're doing great. So again, if just a few closing reminders. Practice out loud, say the names in the notes, and this helps our brains remember. Thanks. Let me ask you, how's your guitar journey coming along? If this is helpful, I hope you'll subscribe, leave me a comment, a like, and as always, thanks for joining me.